North Korea has remained tight-lipped on the defection to South Korea of one of its most influential diplomats. While the official line remains quiet, a close former associate of late North Korean leader Kim Jong-il has told the British press that Seoul pressured the ambassador into defecting. Agon Soa has the details. South Korea's intelligence authorities either forced Taeyong Ho, North Korea's deputy ambassador to the UK, to defect or bribed him to do so. That's what Kim Myung Chol, executive director of the Tokyo based Center for Korean American Peace, regarded as North Korea's unofficial spokesperson, has claimed in an interview with the British daily The Telegraph. He's also a close former associate of late North Korean leader Kim Jong il. Kim Young Choi said there was no way Tae would defect of his own free will, saying it's part of a typical tactic used by South Korea's intelligence agencies to make the North Korean regime collapse. He added South Korea's government is luring North Korean diplomats from all across the world with women and even suggested South Korea could have kidnapped Tae's children until he agreed to go to the South. Kim Young Chol claimed the case is very similar to the mass defection of 13 North Korean restaurant workers from China. Pyongyang has claimed on numerous occasions that Seoul kidnapped the workers. There has been no official response to the diplomat's defection yet. Multiple sources close to North Korea say Tae was in charge of the ruling Workers' Party Secretariat, delivering high-level information directly to leader Kim Jong-un. A source also says he was probably responsible for work related to the Kim family's secret funds. Victor Cha, a North Korean expert at the U.S. Center for Strategic and International Studies, says Tae may be able to provide South Korea with information on how North Korean diplomats help the regime with raising foreign currency and transferring it to Pyongyang. Meanwhile, reports are emerging that an official at the North Korean embassy in Russia also recently defected, with some saying at least seven diplomats have fled so this year. Seoul's unification ministry said Friday that it cannot confirm any of the reports due to safety and diplomatic reasons. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.